I need a freaking haircut. So behind me, I have a map of the United States. Well, actually, it's the whole world, but I'm just gonna use this portion. Pretty much wherever the dart lands on this map is where I'm going to fly to and get a haircut in that exact city the dart lands on. And I'm pretty sure no one's done it, so welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna get really close to the United States portion because it is a map of the world, and I don't wanna go to the middle of the ocean to get a haircut. I'm gonna put this blindfold on. I obviously can't see anything. It's a sleepy mask. The whole point of it is to not be able to see. I'm tapping you. <laughs> Let me spin you around. All right, it's gonna be nice and... Uh, I feel like I'm at Disney World. No, that's not, no, no. The United States is right, like, right there. <laughs> okay, ready? I think it's I think it's Des Moines. Des Moines. I think it's Des, uh. I've actually never been to Des Moines, Iowa. Have you been to Des Moines, Iowa? Have I? Have I, been, I think I've been there once. Well, I driven through it. That's Did it. Did you get a haircut? No. Yeah. So. Des Moines, Iowa it is. I've never been to Des Moines. So I'm just gonna go to Des Moines and get a haircut. And then I'm gonna fly back here. So I made it to Des Moines, Iowa, and it's raining outside, but I found this barber shop that's like two miles from the airport. So for some reason, there's no Ubers or Lyfts here, so uh, I can't really walk to the airport or to the barber shop either because it's two and a half miles away and it's raining outside. So we're in a bit of a pickle. Are there like no Ubers or Lyfts here? It's really hard with public transportation. Nobody wants to drive because of this COVID, which is weird because uh, right. in every other city it's different. Yeah, there's no Ubers or Lyfts here, so I'm gonna get a taxi. I have to wait like 20 minutes to get a taxi, and then I'm gonna taxi to the barbershop. Come back, we got more planes landed. There's a barbershop called John's Barbershop. It's like six minutes away, I believe. It's actually my first time ever taking a taxi. Oh, really? Really. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hi there. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I threw a dart at a map, and wherever the dart landed, I would get a haircut at that city. What are you doing? He threw a dart at a map, and that's where he had to get a haircut, and he's not yeah. So I'm, I'm here for the day. Either whatever like the locals recommend, I don't know. Skips. Well, this side of town is not. Yeah. Yeah. He's young. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said. I don't know. <laughs> Take him down to, I can drop, go drop him at like, LB shop or somewhere. Or highlights. Gypsy or... Crow. Well, thanks for throwing the dark. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you'll see me like in the video, in the start of the video, I have a map of the United States and I have a dart and I'm blindfolded and I get spun around oh and I throw gosh, the dart. That's hilarious. And I literally got like outside of Des Moines a little bit. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It was awesome. Okay. Take care. See ya. See ya. Thank you. Good. Now it's my wife. Oh, uh, okay. And so she cut your she hair? She cut my hair and. Really? The, we went out like a couple weeks later uh, on her birthday. We were married a year to the day later. Holy cow, that's crazy. Yep. So train as T-R-A-I-N. Okay. T and then T-I-N. Trainton, there you go, right there. All right, well, thank you so much, oh, appreciate absolutely. it. Have fun. Uh, thank you, take care. That was such an amazing experience. Those people I met at the barbershop, the local barbershop, were some of the nicest people I ever met in my entire life. And the one guy took me downtown and they suggested this uh, one restaurant called Zombie Burger. What's like the most popular burger here? I'm convinced that the Midwest has the nicest people in the entire world. Everyone here is just so polite and friendly. The guy was nice enough to drive me to downtown and he actually said he met his wife at a barber shop and she cut his hair and then they went on a date like a couple weeks later and then they were married a year later, which is crazy. I have an hour and a half till I have to go back to the airport, so I'm just gonna walk around downtown Des Moines. I also live in Arizona, so it is freezing here and I don't have my jacket or like a hoodie or anything. And it's like still sprinkling, so it's a weird drizzle 
Starbucks thing going on. Another thing I noticed is there's really no one outside, which I understand because it's raining and I look like a psycho walking outside. But it's really eerie almost, like not having anyone like in a downtown city, like walking outside, it's pretty empty. So here's my Des Moines review. They have really friendly people, they have good barbers, they have decent burgers, not the best burgers I've ever had, but decent. Um, it's like a small town city feel with lots of friendly people. So I'm happy I threw the dart and it landed here. It brought me to some really cool people, some nice friendly locals. Um, I'm heading back to the airport right now if I can find an Uber or Lyft because I guess in Des Moines there's no such thing as Lyfts and Ubers. But I had a lot of fun on this trip, I'm glad I did it. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff like this where I just do spontaneous travels and throw darts at a map and I'm just going to do different challenges or tasks when I'm there. Um, it's raining and my camera's getting wet. I actually didn't get the lady's name that cut my hair. Um, but I gave her my YouTube channel, so I'm hoping she watches this. Thank you so much. You were very polite and you were very kind. And I'm very grateful for uh, you letting me video in your barbershop and stuff. So thank you to her. Hi, I was looking to get a cab back to the airport. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.